Hi, I'm Andy Ian Bell from Inverarty One to One. In this video, we'll explain how to store champagne, which is very, very important if you actually want to enjoy some lovely bubbles later on, because there's nothing worse than a flat bottle. The first thing you have to consider when storing champagne is it's a much more fragile wine than both reds and whites. It needs a lot more care and attention. If you actually treat it exactly the same as you'll treat red and white, it's not going to last the distance. Now the first thing you want to do is actually have a cool dark place, preferably a wine rack. Not everybody at home has a wine cellar, but a wine rack out of the way of the red light and changes in temperature. Store the champagne on its side, vertical, so that the cork never actually dries up. And never mess around with the bottle. Don't take it in and out of the wine rack because it is so very, very fragile. Only take it out of the wine rack when you're actually going to put it into the fridge before you're going to serve it. There is equivalent of the pressure of a double-decker bus back tyre in every bottle of champagne and that makes it very, very delicate and deserves some respect. Firstly, the main thing we really want to avoid while storing champagne is direct light, like sunlight and uh, lamps. Luckily the glass is green which will reflect as much as possible but the glass can only protect the champagne from so much and as I said it's so delicate. Second thing to avoid is changes in temperature. If you were to put this lovely bottle of champagne next to any extreme heat uh, it's going to affect the bubbles, the bubbles are going to rise and they're going to pop the cork and then no one gets to enjoy the champagne. Since we successfully managed to store the champagne, it's also well worth knowing exactly when to drink the champagne. Now it's always great to bring them out on birthdays and anniversaries, but we have to think exactly how long the bottle's been there. With a traditional non-vintage champagne, it's already had about three years aging before it's reached your uh, story track. So probably try and drink that between one to two years. It's designed for some fun. The more serious of champagnes, the vintage champagnes, they can last much longer. Five to ten years, but please don't push it past ten years. It, it is a fragile, delicate, beautiful wine. It's full of finesse and it just needs the right care and attention to release all of that lovely flavour. In summary, for just storing champagne, remember those key points. Avoid light, avoid lots of heat, don't store in the fridge for too long, just a couple of hours before you serve it, and that way you'll have a lovely, lovely glass of fresh, busy goodness. And that's how to store champagne.